So here we have a Hewlett Packard Model 1650B Logic Analyzer. And on top of this is an Atari Mega ST that I uh, have hooked up to it. As you can see by all the probe wires. Basically I use the expansion slot instead of clipping onto the chip directly because the pins from the probes basically just slid right on so why bother using clips. So anyway here's the 1650B. This was introduced in around I think 1987 and uh, boots from a three and a half inch floppy double density and here's the controls you have this little dial here and then there's the execute button or I'm sorry select and then you have these roll buttons which are used for scrolling and I'll explain that later and here you have the menu options you got format trace display IO run stop don't care and clear entry and that's change sign it's uh, basically used to put a negative sign in there hex keypad so I have it set up right here actually what I can do is I'm gonna load it from disk again just to show you how that's done you hit IO and you use the little wheel to go to disk operations select and then this is where the scrolling thing comes in if you hit the roll vertical button you'll see this then you can kind of select with it so we're going to load this so to do that we go select execute continue well I meant to load it so we're going to load which is okay because I already loaded it recently and that changed anything All right, and then we're gonna go to format to get an idea of how this all works. So, you see these activity lines, they indicate what's going on in these signals. What I did is I connected pod one to the data bus, pod two for the um, lower, how many bits was it? 15, because even though it's really 16, that line's actually unhooked because there's no address zero on a 68,000. And then the other upper eight bits there. This is the function code bits, which on the 68,000 tell you if a fetch is um, user mode, supervisor mode, data, or instruction. And then that's a read write signal. And then if you go up here, that's where you set the clock you're going to sample from. For this, I use the data transfer acknowledge line from the 68,000 because that line basically changes state when the uh, address and data have all stabilized on the bus, so it's a good sampling thing to use. So I set that for rising edge, because it's an uh, active low line. And then on here you can set logic levels, it's user defined even. Let's see what's this, now oh, that's for demultiplexing and all that. So you can set the polarity on there, you can give them a name. You can also go up to here and hit specify symbols, which will allow you to on these what you can do is you can actually define the bit patterns or constants or anything so they have labels instead so when you do that you'll see it when I pull it up and then there's also trace which is how we format what I set this up for is down here is condition A which means when the address bus reads all zeros and the others the X means don't care which is what that don't care button is for it means that for the sake of filtering this you don't care what the value is so what I did was I set up so that while storing no state, which means basically wait until the trigger condition is met, which is condition A down there, and then when that's done, store until it runs out of memory basically. And this is what the display listing looks like, it's empty now. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the ST. You can see all those lit up because, you know, the up down arrow means that they're transitioning. That means that line's staying high. You get the idea. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go to display, start. And that's indicating that's waiting for the condition to happen. So now I'm going to make it happen by pressing reset. And there you go. As you can see, the 68,000 first starts this address right here and this one right after where it reads the reset vector and so then it's FC0030 and then we jump to that you can see as we go through 
what's instructions, what's data, how much of it is reading. You can see something got written there. So that's it for now with the uh, first part of this. This is the state an analysis mode. I'm going to do timing next. So enjoy.